So I've been getting a bunch of emails asking, when's the next video gonna come about the 53 Chevy rebuild? And when's the next video gonna come about the CNC router? Here you go, ask and you shall receive. Lawnmower batteries. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is kind of outside my normal thing, yet inside my normal thing because it's just tinkering with random crap that happens to break. And as usual, I just get in the middle of something and think, hey, somebody else might actually be doing the exact same thing and wanna know how to do it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is and how you can get one of these batteries completely rebuilt and good as new for usually under a hundred bucks. So let me turn you around and show you what we got going on. Okay, so here you see the two, at least that I know of, variations of these 36 volt batteries that are in the Black & Decker lawnmower. Uh, the one we have is self-propelled. I'm not sure if the non-self-propelled one has the same battery or not. If you're watching this video, this probably looks familiar to you. So first thing to know is how to get it apart. And there's just gonna be some screws around the bottom lip. There's no problem, by the way, turning these upside down. Nothing can leak out. You'll need a Torx T20 or just a flat blade screwdriver. The heads have both different styles on there. On these ones, you got four on the handles and they're little short ones. And then there's one, two, three, four, five longer ones like that. This style, they're all long. You got two at the top, three at that end, and that's it. I thought there were more. Okay, so apparently both of them have three and two. Uh, the newer style just have two extra short ones on the side. But once you get inside, you'll see that's all that's in here is just three separate sealed lead acid 12 volt batteries. So these are the ones that came with 12 volt, 12 amp hour. And these are just really standard sized. I'll give you the dimensions in American Freedom units. This is just under six inches long, about three and five eighths tall, five and seven eighths, three and seven eighths, three and three eighths. So first thing you gotta do, order new batteries. Here's the batteries I got from Amazon. Yours might be different. I probably won't put a link because it seems like links are always changing rapidly. But if you just go on Amazon, eBay, wherever you usually get stuff and just look up 12 volt, 12 amp hour, you're gonna get it. And here's the one I got. Got six of them. Don't remember the total, but it was less than 200 bucks for six. So that rebuilds two batteries. If you can still find these complete units, they're gonna be quite a bit more than that. The first thing you'll notice once you try to stuff all these back in, and I just want to address that real quick. But you can see there is a height difference. So you do have to take that into account, at least with these. Yours may not have that problem. So this might look scary if you're not normally working on electronics. There's nothing really to be afraid of. This, I don't wanna say cannot hurt you, but if you're just kind of careful, just follow precautions, it's gonna be fairly harmless. So the first thing I'll do, pop these two clips off, and you can get the lid out of the way. If you're opening that other style battery, it's very similar. It just does not have the circuit in here for the battery tester but all the other wiring is the same. So then, I've already broken these apart, but these are all stuck together with double-sided tape. It's kind of a pain. What I did was carefully got in there with a flat blade screwdriver or a pry bar and just kind of wiggled them apart. You don't want to press so hard that you poke them through, obviously, but that's how I got it apart. So then I'll pop off those two clips. And then I'll just leave them on that battery so you don't get confused as to what goes where. Okay, this is where thing gets, things get kind of tricky. If you have the same batteries I have that are a tiny bit thicker, they will still fit, but it just takes a little muscle. I looked at ways to come in here and shave away some plastic and make room on the bottom. There's really no way to do it because it's right up against the edge of the case. You start cutting away plastic, you're gonna have holes and then you're gonna get bugs and water and stuff in there. So in this case, no more double-sided foam tape. If your batteries aren't this tight, you might want to do that so they don't rattle around. I don't know that there's any harm in it, but that's what they did from the factory. So once you get the two in there, nice and solid, and you're sure they're down all the way. Third one is the hard one. Now here's why I left these wires on here. Now I can just pull them off and pop them right back onto the same spots. 
And now I said, it'd be hard to hurt yourself. Right now there's 12 volts across these two. Not that big a deal. Now that I've plugged them on here, now there's 36 volts across here. Which, you know, here, I mean, you can't even feel it. However, if you were to clip these wires both across here, you're gonna have some melted insulation and it's gonna not be a fun time. So now, normally, this would be where you would clip these back on, pop the top on, but I found the top will not go on. Right now, the way these batteries are wedged in here, they're kind of coming apart, so it won't fit. So there's a slight modification I had to do. Basically, what needs to come out is this lid ledge right here, and then just a little bit of these corner braces. This plastic is really flimsy and cheesy. I found it pretty easy to cut with a utility knife. If this were fiberglass reinforced, there's no way. But luckily, in this case, they use cheap materials. Not too bad. And just take a little bit off of these braces so they're not sticking out. Basically what we need to do is provide relief for the battery to move that way a little bit more. So anything that's in the way, cut it and get it as close to flush as you can with the bottom. Again, it's really cheesy plastic. It's easy to shave away with a utility knife. So now you should be able to put it together. Green to black, white to red, because that makes sense. You should be good. It wouldn't hurt to confirm if you've got this style just to make sure it's gonna light up. Make sure all your little wires are out of the way. You can see in here that this might want to stick out or something. Wanna make sure it's all tucked away. And I found with the top, it's just like the bottom where you wanna do the two batteries first and move that way. Okay, and what I did in the other one, I'll do it again here too. I just have the back attached. I'm gonna start the screws. That'll kind of hold it in place. Apparently lost one short screw in the time it took to order batteries, but I think it'll be fine. So there you go. That is basically a new battery. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask, and I will get back to you uh, within several months. Don't hook it up wrong and hurt yourself and sue me. And that's about it. See you in the next video.